Hello you lovely people from Drinks Tube. Today I'm going to tackle one of the most iconic cocktails on the planet, the Vodka Martini. We're going to hit up the Vodka Martini Classico, okay, which is very, very simple and beautiful. Then we got the dry martini, then we got a wet martini, then we got a dirty Vodka Martini. And I'm going to show you that little differences make a dramatic change to what you're tasting in your mouth. Let's start with classic first. We're going to go 50 mils of beautiful vodka, straight in. Then we've got 10 mils of dry vermouth, goes in. And then we want to add our ice. We're not doing what James Bond did, we're not shaking. We're using a little spoon here. The minute that you can start to feel the chill on the glass, that is not only the perfect temperature, but it's the perfect dilution. So that's very nice. I've chilled a glass with some ice in like that. And then for garnish, just remove some peel, put it at a slight kink like that, and just squeeze around the glass so some of those lovely essential oils come out. You can even twist it up like that. So there you go, that is the classic vodka martini. It's a beautiful, very refreshing drink. So that's probably the most common one. Let's do the next variation. So this is a dry vodka martini. It's very, very similar. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that vermouth and put a slug in the glass. And essentially, I'm gonna clean the glass with the vermouth, okay? And just pour away any of the excess. This way, we get the lovely aroma of the vermouth. We're gonna go in with the same amount of vodka. 50 mils goes straight in. In it goes. I'm then gonna put in the ice. Notice there's no vermouth in here. Because the vermouth, we just wanna dash, okay? So it's dry. I'm just gonna pass it, as per usual into the glass, we can finish with some lemon. Here is the dry martini, much crisper, still very refreshing. You're still getting the smell of the vermouth, which is lovely. It's quite sensual with the lemon as well. Very, very nice. Different, I still prefer the classic, but many people love that, it's a bit crisper. Now we're gonna do the wet vodka martini. It's called a wet vodka martini, but we're using dry vermouth. Uh, and there is some logic there. Yes, it's dry vermouth, but there's still a sweetness in this that we can use within the drink. So we're still gonna go in with our classic 50 mils of vodka. We're then gonna hit it up with 25 mils of vermouth. More ice and do exactly what we've done for the other three drinks. I'm gonna use my chilled glass here. The volume's gonna be a little bit more increased because we're 15 mils up. So there's the wet martini. Let's have a little try. Delicious. Really, really good. I kind of like the balance between the vermouth and the vodka. I think they work really, really well together. There you go. The classic, the dry, and the wet vodka martini. Last, we're gonna do the dirty vodka martini. Now I like, I like a bit of dirty vodka martini. And you could get really dirty. First up, we are gonna muddle a couple of olives. Simply just crush the olives like that. Just give it four or five little pushes. 50 mils of vodka. Of course, you can have your dirty vodka martini, wet, dry, or classic, but good bartenders, they'll tell you that it's better to balance if it's a little bit more on the wet side. So I'm gonna put in 25 mils. Still feeling for that chill through the glass. Good temperature. Lovely chilled glass. How could you not put an olive back in? In we go. A dirty, dirty vodka martini. I love it. That is my speed right there. I really love it. Delicious. Definitely my favorite. So there you go, guys. Four drinks, all coming from the classic vodka martini. There's so many different things you can do, but these four hopefully will give you the confidence to go into a bar and get what you want. Go and buy the ingredients at home, have a go, and I uh, definitely recommend the dirty vodka martini. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed to Drinks Tube, uh, click the button up here. Subscribe, it's for free. And if you want to see more cocktails from brilliant barmen uh, and mixologists from around the world, then click on the boxes below. Okay guys, bye.